Right, enough. We had enough banjo for one day. Flip the coin, check the coin, keep the coin, and we're on. Here you go, season 10, final eight. It's match day number three. And here's your pleasure, whether you want it or not. Guess who it is? You've got it. The mean green dream machine, the Orcs are versus not quite dead yet. The surprise Cam Camry team trying to march their way all the way to the finals. Well, let's see if they can actually pull this one off. It's going to be a lot of a ride. So, let's take a look at what we got here. Kimry, of course, have got the two reserves. And yes, you can see here, yeah, well, they've got some plans today. They have brought in good old Hack and Slash. Of course, he's a skeleton, not a goblin. One day, they'll get that actually right. So, his skill, besides secret weapon, of course, is he's got, of all things, yes, crazy as it might seem, he's got regeneration, and he's got sidestep. So what do you use him for? Frankly, you use him for fouling. He serves no other purpose because he's got no other skill other than the sidestep. So let's get this started here. There goes the kickoff return. Let's see if he gets anything exciting out of there. And if you're still not there, well, you can go get it now, can't you? The only time you'll see a Kenry player move fast to get underneath the ball, there it is. Alright, let's get this started here. Kenry, of course, coming in. Solid line of just playing lots of Tomb Guardians, but they have taken a bit of damage getting here. As for this particular Orc team, awful lot of block earned all over the place for almost all their players, especially the Black Orcs. They do have the one that doesn't have it, so they put him in the front line for later. For a formidable set of blitzes. Well, there we go, pulling on. Does he actually get anything? No, absolutely nothing. Yeah! And here comes the blatant foul. I'm going to gut you like a Cornish game hen. And you can see that right off the bat. First bribe has already been used. <laughs> that was quick early attempt. And of course, there goes the one bribe he brought with him. Well, it's done. So much for that great idea. Counter-attack here by the Orcs. And of course, well, Chainsaw gets away. He misses. Orcs carry up a phenomenal assault here. Down goes the Tomb Guardian. As I always mentioned, Tomb Guardians are absolutely fantastic characters because they're movement four, not three like mummies. But yeah, the biggest problem they have, of course, is that bloody decay. Everyone complains about the decay. If you can get a break out of Tomb Guardian, all bad. He has to reroll the one in nine. Well, the rerolls are going fast and furious. Down he goes. Blitz down here. He gets him down. There he goes. Well, I guess he's going to get fouled again at this right here. Now, moving away. Well, still an obvious foul. Because, let's face it, it's still a Black Orc down. If you can remove that player, well, it forces the Orc staff to start using more and more of the plain linemen going around. Yep, there they are. They're off having a squig, apparently. Not really much getting. Ah, well, looks like the Camry have committed. They're actually going to pick a side. Well, it's worked against the Dwarf team. 
And... Alright, pause that up. What are you doing, lad? No, really, what are you doing? This one, he goes six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he can't screen you. The Orc Blitzes easily can get around. Let's look at the skills. One of them's even got dodge. You can cut the corner. You're not, are you? Oh, bloody hell. Well, let's find out. What goes on? Oh, as you can see, yeah, yep, Kemri. Moving along. You're joking, really. That's where you're going to put the chainsaw. No, I don't blame the fans on that one. Because, let's face it, you just basically gave a free casualty to them. Because that's not going to stop it. Not one iota. Well... Missed out his free foul. Uh, yes, immediately he got called on the first one by the constable. But that shouldn't stop you from trying a second time. Ah, that's predicted right there. And he's got the solid block down. He go. Yep, there we go. Oh. And yeah, there you go. Let's turn this around here. Let's see what the Orcs are actually going to do about this one. As well, that basically stops the Kemri dead. They're going to have to go back the other way. And thank you for the free casualties. Basically, the Orcs answer on that one. And now front-line attacks. Here they go. Troll gets a good solid hit in. <clears throat> oh, a quick drink there. Uh, thank you, love. And, well, block me, block you. And that's it for turn three. Maybe turn this right back. Now, come on, turn around. Oh, I love this cameraman. I might mean, use a Havling, thanks to the bloody dwarves and what they did to the previous one. See, there's a good solid hit. Down goes the Black Orc. It's only a stun now, so that's a bit disappointing. Hell of an armor roll. Double sixes. <laughs> Where's that for your skill roll when you need it, love? Ah, it looks like the Camry are very solidly committed. <laughs> they should be committed. Just like most of the Goldman coach in this league. Gets the solid hit. Down he goes. Well, and now even the ball carrier joins in. Gets a solid punch. Ah, it's a really good hit. Silence! I kill you! Uh, the Kemri are definitely giving quite a few good smashes here. And there's another push me, push you. Decides to keep you in position here, marking things up. Well, he's lost the chainsaw early, and the bribes burn. Maybe he views it's just he doesn't need the bloody chainsaw anymore. Uh, that's dangerous thinking here, lad. And now you can see the orcs, they've done it again. They've got a hole. Something they really they love getting a hole every time. They go down to the brothel. Smashing it. And now there we go. Burger. It's over 9,000! And he got him. First injury. Fortunately, that one does actually regenerate, but that's dropped the Kemri down two players. And he decides not to go for the obvious opening. He's actually going to take a flanker. And is it a bad idea? Well, at this point here, the Kemri really can't outrun the Orcs. They're two players up, and you can see they're already now breaking away, and not one, but three of the four Tomb Guardians are all stuck out of the play. This is a horrible positioning here. Well, Kemri has to tag this one up. Unfortunately, that's with a more skilled player. Tomb Guardian finally now gets back into the play. Of course, since he actually has... No, he doesn't even have God. Well, that's a bit disappointing. There's another good silence hit. Um, nom, 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 and what the hell are you doing? You know, you know they're not dwarves, right? They move more than four. Just saying. Oh, maybe he sees something I don't see. Now it's push me, push you. That's an awful risk, lad. It's an awfully big risk. 
No, Camry are trying hard for the early score. And Million Old 2 got in, solid it on the troll. How's the troll feel today? Down he goes. Well, Orcs are now going to have to try and figure out some way to actually contain this little wee mess up, and they think they might have a coming plan. It's an elaborate and college educated scheme, but it's still a cutting plan. And you can see he's even keeping these tomb guardians mocked up. Well, there we go. Someone's on face now. He can stay there for a while. Of course, it didn't help that no one was standing next to him. Uh, here's a good solid push me, push you. Well, it does put a player in position. And now he's waiting for it. That's the player. There it is. Makes the dodge. Two dice thanks to the guard, and he got him. There goes the ball. Ball's bounced away, and well, the Orcs phenomenally actually have the ball. And then there he goes. Trips over his own feet, and then he doubles. <laughs> on the easy dodge away that actually frees up a useful Camry player to get into the scrum to actually get after this player because let's face it, it's all gone or be wrong so what is the Camry plan? Platt pausing it up here, what well, you've got a player here, you got a player here he does not have sidestep here so probably you'll want to push him out of the way put two dice on him but he is a blodger life's going to be difficult didn't say it'd be easy, but it's doable. Let's see how the Camry do take care of this one now. Now he's bringing the players up all right. He's paying good attention that he does have to get more into the play. Oh, that was cheeky. Makes the go for it. There's the quick blitz. It's a push away. Rerolls and does not get anywhere with the dodge. And right straight into a double skull. There's frustration for you right there. Fatality. And yeah, well, that poor lad, he's absolutely dead. Well, there's decay for you. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And you can hear the palpable rage coming out of the Camry dog out of that one. They are horrified with that crazy result. And suddenly the orcs, new life in them. It's a push, that's all he wants. And he's going to run away with the ball for a little while. Not very far. But it does get him to join in the fun, as they say, in proper orc terms. And he's bailed him away. And now the orcs have a vague semblance of a cage in this scrum, but the numbers are starting to make a big difference. Oh, still stuck on face no more, you lad. Meanwhile, down the field, block on block, Orc's fine with that. And he even makes the dodge away. And there was a heroic little play. Does pay off, gets the push. And Camry. Where's it all gone wrong? Well, he does have a solution. It's not a good one. Dives in one die straight into a skull, rerolls, and against the frustration of dealing with this crazy orc, the Blodger. Well, he maneuvers players around more. Push me, push you. It's he's made the situation quite the scrum, and now he's deciding to move the Tomb Guardian further ahead, trying to pin down more players. Well, you need to actually get this guy peeled away here. Because you might actually need this player back. But he's pretty preoccupied. The Black Orc's doing a fine job. Push me, push you. Back to the Orc. Turn six. It's not over just yet. Well, block me, block you. And now you're starting to see the problem his Tomb Guardians have. They have not skilled up very well on his team. And that's just been the season where, well, let's face it, his skeletons have done a great job. Work, work. 
Well, he gets the stun, but he'll take it. It keeps the player out of the play for a while. Push me, push you. Not back on face now. He's just not going anywhere. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Well, fine. Troll's not in the play then. And he does get away with a handoff, and he's gone. I don't think the camera can actually catch this guy. <laughs> well, that's all we need. Comments from the peanut gallery. And the orcs, well, frankly, they've got this pretty scrummed up. And now the camera, the only one they're going to get this one is a go for it. Oh, hell no! Alright, well... Turn 7, the Orcs are on their way, laughing, I hate to say it, strutting their way down. Oh, the Camry aren't stopping this, that was their one play, nothing else went. And now the Orcs get basically, from their viewpoint, a free scrum turn, they even burn the reroll. That was easy. Well, he's stunned, now he's going to absolutely make sure. Nope, still doesn't get him. Well, at this point here, I don't think he really much cares for pulling on. It's just, is he down? Yes. Fine, you've already done your damage. Oh, lords, really? Cheap foul being called on that one. Ah! Alright, well, he stunned him. Uh, again, we don't care. He's not going to play. Four turns, Troll's not doing anything. If the Camry were having a better day, this would be a victory. And straight into a double skull, because, well, we all know how this is working now. Ah, sorry. Go suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick, suck a dick, suck a huge or small Yeah, well, I don't blame the Camry coach on that one. And he gets another one. Settle it in smash. And there he goes. It's an easy score for the Orcs. I hate to admit it, it really is. Let it go! Let it go! Cannot hold it back anymore! Let it go! Let it go! Give in and buy the games! And that's it for that draw. Fine, we're done with it. You can see the displeasure from the Camry team. And here we go, going into the second half here. Pretty damaged, this second half brought to you by your local library. Because nothing ever goes wrong reading a book, right? Well, let's turn this around. We actually get to see the Orcs. <laughs> God help us. Yeah, Nuffle's not, that's for sure. That's pretty brutal. He's down two players, the big one, of course, being the Tomb Guardian. As for, yeah, you've seen it right. Nothing. That's the kind of game it seems to be turning into. Sad to say. Of course, studying the dice and how the rolls here comes kind of down to the same perspective of, you know, has either team been completely nuffled? Well, they're both having bad luck, they're both having good luck. It's just spreading out in a different way. And it's all about deployment and you're using your players. So, tough call that one. Mainly Constable Ed catching that first foul right off the bat. He accepted the gratuity, of course, in the fine tradition of, you know, Super Blood Bowl weekend. But that said, that probably changed his thinking. And he put him up as a screen rather than fouling the black orc like he probably would have. All right, let's get this one started. And that's the moment he's been waiting for. Oh, this is bad! But how are the Camry going to do this one? Well, he's got different moments in here, but now here's the phone he's got. Camry doesn't blitz very well, does it, eh? Especially considering what the movement rate is, you're not going to get around to so You're going to have to find a way to somehow maybe pop one of the line orcs and get your faster moving players maybe with a bit of risk around the corner that's probably your solution mm. 
where is he going? And you're blitzing. Oh, come on. Double skulls right off the bat. That's not what he wants to see. And after all that, it's just a stun. Well, there goes that great idea. You c unless you're dodging. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, Camry, you're not dodging, lad. And what the we've decided, well, they're going to have to try and make this, you know, well, a scrum fest. Alright, i got a question, why? No, really, why? That placement doesn't make any sense. That's what happens when I come into these games cold, unfortunately. Yeah, i got to figure out what's going on. All right, we'll see if the orcs actually get the ball, but right now, you know, do they really care about the sucking ball? Oh, hey, look, it's another stun. Well, they'll take that. Troll's getting in a position here. See, this is what I'm worried about. Unfortunately, the quality of the coach here for the orcs, oh, he sees it all right. Push me, push you, that works just fine. Gets the Tomb Guardian away. Now the risky one. One die. Uh, it's a skull. Tries again. And. Yep, there it is. Free player. He sees it. This is not going to go good. No, that's absolutely horrible. It's a disaster! It's no injury, but they weren't one of your best players. I swear, that double score right to begin that drive. He's not... I, I don't think the Camry are quite on their right minds today. Did someone forget to tell him it was a playoff game and he's required to drink before he plays this game? And there we go. Immediately has to re-roll yet again. Rolls a 1 and 9. Gets himself away. Still no results from that one. And now he's really... Oh, I see where this is going. That's right, he's fouling. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it! Well, what am I to say about that one? Now you're deciding to foul when you don't have the bribe anymore. Is it with the player? You know what, never mind. He's trying to make... He's, I can understand from the viewpoint, he's trying to make something happen. And that's something all right. Right, orcs. Well, they've dealt with one problem over here. And now, quite simply, they just have to now deal with the other problems. Ha! <laughs> Double scold. See, it's not going only one way, is it? The orcs are having just as bad a look. They're already bled out two rerolls themselves. You are so small! It's funny to me! Well, polling on again fails. That's been pretty consistent so far. <laughs> Let's hope, <laughs> frankly, the Camry are hoping it stays that way. And the Orc Scrum continues. Trell does get away with a solid punch. And down goes the Tomb Guarding into an unfortunate compromising position. Back of a Volkswagen indeed. And there's the power of Block versus Unskilled Tomb Guardian, unfortunately. And the Orcs marching in. Camry have got to force this. <laughs> it's, it's heartbreaking, that is. Okay. Again, lad, where are you going? Bulkhead is here. You've got just the right crazy combination of skills here. You can park something in. And force in and actually be all over this player. Maybe he just doesn't see it. He's, too, he's so focused on the scrum here. He's not seeing it. This, of all things, is a weak point. If he gets these down and concentrates his fire, he's in. And then these ones could actually stall him up nicely. Don't even have to say it. One and nine. There you go again. And now he pushes in. Again, why? 
Yes, now he's trying to force something this, and he's getting sick and tired after the surf the last time. Fine, I'll accept that thought. And now he's going to foul again, of course. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Well, apparently he still can't break anything. He keeps removing his cleats. Well, that's the problem with this coach. He's a little too polite when he doesn't need to be polite. And it seems to have rubbed off on some of his players. <laughs> rubbed off. Anyway, carrying on. There's an old smash down. And the Orcs, every turn that ticks away, feel a wee bit more confident. He's now freed up this player. Now if he can just get rid of this Tomb Guardian and tie him up over here. Great, he's got the Black Orcs back. And he's achieved it. It's a shame when these poor lads don't have break tackle. I keep on reminding myself it's not an Ogre team. Oh, here he comes. Good solid jump. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. Well, he's done exactly that. It's a KO. Right, at this juncture, you'll take it. That removes another Tomb Guardian. And the Kenring are now down two players on the strife. And the troll, well, after turns of, of just absolute fatality and futility. Uh oh, retard alert! What they did last turn, you know, last half, he did absolutely nothing. This time, finally, he's doing something. And sadly, very well from the viewpoint of the Kenrys. So, how are you going to scrum this one up? Well, to push me, push you, balls way back here. See, this is the funny part. He had gone this way, but now, and guess which way the orc's gone? He's gone that way. Well, there you go. He's got a stun. At least that's something. Oh, boy. Sloppy. When Camry are having a dodge, you know what the day is. <laughs> and it's not the day of the dwarves. Okay. And here come the orcs. Well. They can do everything they can to try and scrum out this block on block, aye. Maybe he's got some staying power. Maybe the ball carrier throws it, does get him knocked away. Granted, it stops the ball carrier advancing for a turn, but you're 1 0. I gotta admit, that's our break. Meanwhile, uh, he's got him, he's found him. I can do that. And there you go, as we mentioned, and our regeneration fails. Well, can't get them all. What's from his viewpoint is, that's what, three for four fails? Pretty tough audience. And the Orcs are just going to keep up the relentless attack down the field. And now here's the crazy part, the lone line Orc. He's got Tomb Guardian on himself, but that's all he needs. Makes you think he's got to do something, and that's exactly what he's doing. Blitzing to break the play away. Only gets the push. Well, then he's got to go in there. And there you go. He's got him marked. Try and force the Orcs to have a bad day. Sigh. Well, thank you for that one there, but you know, usually you're supposed to be cheering for them, Vincent. <laughs> not today, Sunshine, not today. And the green machine. Oh, certainly been relentless cleaning this mess up here. They can now afford the troll just standing here. There we go, two dice again. He's got him, down it goes the poor lad. Bandages and all. And he's away, all right. And he's even got a light screen, and now he's going to try and square away the Lost Camry. Lost Camry? <laughs> a little soon to say that, but every time this ticks away with that, tell me I'm wrong. And, oh! Well, 1 in 27. He can do that. 
Mistake! And that's a glimmer of... something. Oh, yes! And well, sorry, Orcs, <laughs> back marching down the field, and where are you going? Oh, I see. And off. He wants to get the skill point. Well, he's got the free reroll here, but why not? He's up 1 0. And now he's got this port skeleton just completely. How many dice do you need on him? Well, at least he's not fouling. That's a that's a sore eyesight. Here it comes. There's the head off. And of course, well, that didn't work. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, hell no! Alright, well, Kemri have given this one up. You can see they did the quick little turnover. It's done. And they find a way to do it again. 1 in 27. Silence! I kill you! So he hands the turnover and... Epic fail one more time. Ah! Well, that's it. The Orcs, you know, three attempts cannot score it. Yeah. He's got his bad dice all showing up, but it's all unfortunately at the end of the game. Well, that's it for that one there. What can you say? Well, the you know, supporters here are just basically done and leaving the stadium in droves. And there's your final score. One nil. Surprising result. And checking the dice rolls afterwards. Both teams actually surprisingly are pretty novel. They're both having pretty bad luck in more ways than one. It's just how it distributes, and unfortunately it catches the Kemri in the worst positions when it really goes wrong. Well, with the Orcs, you can see that at the end now it goes really wrong. It no longer matters. It's already late in the game, and they're up 1-0. So, congratulations. The mean green dream is still alive, marching on to the final four. Aye, they got elves. <laughs> got to catch the wall, don't you? As for the Kenry, sorry, but your dreams are dust. Well, we'll see you all one more game in the final round here. Before we go to the round of four, Nuffle, bless your dice.